and give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Give double honors to the apostles of great mercy to not rule well. Salutations to the men of the Copeland Saints, say like Makazan, right? Shalom. Right? And I want to do a little edification on the most size long suffering. Alright? Because, Slack here. You know, basically, and I didn't even speak into the scriptures say, them that are within, we judge, them that are without the most side judge. So, speaking to the men that know the truth. All right, now the scripture said that hey, we in this flesh and it have no man that live it that sin it not. So we're gonna be in this flesh and we're gonna go off. Now, just because we know the scriptures that the scriptures say there is a sin unto that and a sin not unto that, that don't mean that we could just go off and just do whatever we want just because we might fuck up, so to speak. And well, we see we're still here in the flesh, so. Guess what? The most I didn't see that or the most I it the most I take that sin. But the scriptures say the most I he, he uh, will not acquit a sinner, he will not let go a sinner. Now, if you commit a sin, hey, for instance, let me say you commit adultery, right? Adultery is a sin worthy unto death. Alright? But Peter said there's a sin unto death and a sin not unto death. Alright? You say if you see a brother sin a sin that is on that is not unto death, pray for him. He yeah. said there's a sin unto that. I do not say to pray for it. Now if our brother commit adultery, we are yeah. there between him and the most side, the most side, as the scriptures say, I will give mercy unto whom I will give mercy. So if that brother commit adultery, then he had to go before the most and beg the most side for forgiveness and hope that the most side Yahaba Shema Shai grant him life. Alright, or forgive his sin. But let me see you commit adultery and then you realize hey, two months pass, nothing can happen. Three months pass, nothing can happen. Alright, then the most I really see that. So you know I'm good. But guess what? That is not for you to go and commit the act again. If you realize that you're still in the flesh, guess what? The most I gave you that period to repent, to do what is right. To be sorrowful for your sin. Not to go and commit the same act again. Not to go and keep doing the same thing over and over again. If you have the long you realize that you have life, guess what? That is a chance for you to repent. Alright, that is why the name of the topic is um the both sides long suffering. Alright? Go ahead. This is Job chapter 22, verse 2. Can a man be profitable unto Yahweh? I see, I see that that is wise may be pro pro profitable unto himself. Well, it is it is many pleasure. It is what? It is many pleasure. Is it any pleasure? Is it is it any pleasure to the Almighty that that thou art righteous, or is or is in or is it? Again to him that thou makest the way perfect. Yeah. So the scripture saying, is it um any pleasure unto the boaster that you hold? Alright, or is it gain unto him that you make your way perfect? No, because guess what? That is what we're supposed to do. Alright? That is what we're supposed to do. Alright? That is our duty. The scriptures say, um, that is we hold duty. All right, to fear the most high and to keep his commandments. All right, that is the whole duty of a man to fear the most high and to keep his commandments. All right, what the scriptures say, the scriptures say, all our filthiness as or all our righteousness as filthy rags. So, our duty is to be holy. So, this is not supposed to be a burden unto you. All right, so when you realize you commit a sin. The scriptures talk about sin and ignorance. Now you can sin in ignorance, but then when you most reveal unto that your sin is for you to take that time to go and repent. Alright? That is the reason you're probably still alive and the most I give you life. Because he given you that time to repent, not, not the time to go and commit the same act over and over and over. Alright? This is Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Alright? 
Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So because that act is executed speedily, you think in the eye that the most I ain't seeing, seeing me, I could go ahead or probably the most I ain't counting that sin no more because we are that grace, so I could go and do it again. All right? I mean, this woman, you know, she had a man, but she had whore enemies, so let me go. Now, it don't work that way. All right? You gotta make your heart pure. You gotta make your heart pure. So not because you commit a sin and you realize nothing ain't happened to you yet, that don't mean the most I forget you. The scripture says, with no wise I quit a sinner. There is a chance for you to actually go and repent and beg the Lord for forgiveness. When you realize that you're messed up, go and beg the Lord for forgiveness. Because the longer you wait, the worse you're making it for yourself. All right? Don't do that shit. Give me Ezekiel 18. This is Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 19. Yet say ye, why do it not the son bear, bear the iniquity of the father? When the son had done that which is lawful, and right, and right, and thou, and, and had kept all my statutes, and had done them, he shall surely live. Yeah, so if the son do that which is right, then he can, he can be allowed to live. All right? Because the Lord said, choose life. He said before you, life and death, choose life. All right, so you have to do the things that the most side require of you. All right, you're not supposed to be a burden. It's not gain on the most side that you be righteous. It's not profitable unto him that you make your way clean. That is what you're supposed to do. So as I saying, we in this flesh, we're gonna slip, but that is not a reason for you to keep slipping because the scriptures say that. Okay. All right, you might realize that, hey, I might do something that, that merit punishment. And nothing ain't really happened to me yet. Alright? Or nothing ain't happened to me. That is where you might say to yourself. But I don't mean the most I let you go. Or the most I say, alright, I ain't recall that sin. The most I just waiting to see if you would take the time to repent and ask for forgiveness the way you did. So he could forgive your sin the proper way. It have a way to be done. You have to go to the Lord with a, with a, a contrite heart and beg him for forgiveness. So when you realize you went off, and you know you might not for forgiveness one time but then you realize that every day going every day going nothing happen that don't mean the lord let you go that means he ain't ready for you yet so before you really pass that judgment you should ask for forgiveness with a sincere heart and not continue to do the same act over and over again all right go ahead verse 20 the soul that sinned it shall die yeah the soul that sinned it shall die and that is plain. So if you sin, the most second you know, pray to death. The scriptures say the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So if you make yourself clean, you ain't gonna inherit the kingdom of heaven. Alright? So you have to cleanse your ways. Go ahead. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. Yeah. So guess what? That is to prove that we're in the last days right now. Alright? That is to prove we're in the last days. Because the scripture said this generation shall not, shall not pass until all be fulfilled. And that generation was back there with Yahweh Shai. And guess what? They died and all ain't fulfilled yet. So that shows that this, this generation. Okay. Alright? They still let his blood be upon us and our children. So they're going to pay for it now. Even the ones that pierced them are going to pay for it. Okay. Alright? So therefore, the scriptures say to even ask for the forgiveness of your fathers because you are your fathers so the sins that you did in your past life that you didn't ask for forgiveness for hey ask the most high to forgive me for the sins that i didn't even know i commit because the most high long suffering okay. all right he loves suffering so you just sit back and give you time to to really mend your ways to make your ways right not to keep doing the same wickedness over and over and over all right now you keep talking about hey i want the dearly lord come quick but guess what the reason why the dearly lord seeming to take long that is for you that is for you to make yourself ready because you're here to the dearly lord but what end is it to you you gotta make sure that you write with your habba shimmer shai and with men in that day well the righteousness of the right of the righteous shall be upon him and the wickedness of the wicked 
shall be upon him. Well, but if the wicked will turn from from all his sins that he that he had committed and keep all my statutes and do and do it and do that which is lawful and right and right he shall surely live he shall not die yes yeah, so there is a man who sinned who was sinning and then he realized now nah, i really do it wrong but beg the lord for forgiveness let me do good then the lord gonna put your name back in his book of life he gonna blot it out no more but you had to maintain good works the scripture said let all let ours always maintain good works you have to always maintain good works all right the scripture said blemish not thy good works thy good deeds so you have to maintain them them good works you can't just all right lord forgive me for doing this go back and do it lord forgive me for do come no matter it don't work that way you're wearing all the mercies and the most side you're playing with the most side you're playing with your life all right you ain't dead yet so guess what count yourself lucky because guess what that people that do acts and die one time so for you to still have life then guess what there is a there is mercy upon the most of our shame and shy giving you a chance to, to fully repent so take that chance to make sure you cleanse all the ways and not continue in your wickedness all right go ahead verse 22 all his transgressions that he had committed um they they shall not be men maintained unto him. mentioned unto him. Yes, yeah, so the Lord ain't gonna hold that against him. Lord wipe that slate clean. Well, and that is like us coming into this truth. We be made a new man. But then coming in this truth as a new man, you go and do them things that the old man used to do. Then the most gonna require it of you. So then you had to ask for forgiveness. Alright? And make sure you don't go back to do them things. Because this truth is not about growing in mud this truth is about going forward all right go ahead in his righteousness that he had done he shall live verse 23 have i any pleasure at all that he that the wicked should die yeah the most i don't have a pleasure that the wicked should die that is why he giving you time to repent go ahead said the lord yahweh power and not that he should return from his ways and live yeah and that is with the most i want the most i want you to turn from all your wickedness and live give me the ecclesiasticus me yeah, chapter five all right the most i want you to turn from your unrighteousness and live so that is why the lord gave you the time that is why you realize you did something wrong and nothing happened to you because the most i give you time to turn around you're still gonna get punished because the scripture said he that spared not his own son. If the Lord is spared own son, he ain't gonna spare you. Yeah. The scripture said there's no respect of person. So he that let me read it. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. It says, It says, But he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he had done. And there is no respect of persons. So the Lord said there is no respect of persons. Most I don't care who it is. You sin, most I can take it on you. Alright? So therefore, you can't just go and just keep doing the same thing over and over. When you sin and you realize your sin, therefore, you have to beg the most high for forgiveness. Hey, you might commit, let me say you commit adultery with a woman you didn't even know she had a man because the bitch lied. When you realize you commit adultery, don't say, well, I well, it's that woman's fault. It's not mine. Guess what? It's still sin. So therefore, when you realize you commit adultery, you still have to go and beg the most side for forgiveness. Because the Lord can still take your ass out. You understand? The most side can still take your ass out. That is what the Lord could have done. So when you realize that you sin, beg the most side for forgiveness. The most side don't play. But because you, you, what you really say is that, hey, the, the God of the Old Testament is not the God of the New Testament. So whereas the Lord used to take men out back then in a hurry, the most I doing that now. Nah, you blind. You blind. The most I taking out men quick these days. But the reason, the difference between you and the average two thirds is because you actually corner upon that name. So the most I will give you a little more mercy than he would give the average two thirds. Alright? 
scripture says, punish you measure by measure, but you will not leave you altogether unpunished. All right? Go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 4. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm has happened unto me? Yes, yeah, so you say, I, I said, and look, nothing happened. I still hear my flesh. Nothing happened. I ain't getting no accident. I ain't fall long. I ain't bust my head. You know, I'm still alive. Nothing happened. I, I fucked up last week. I fucked up last month. I did it again yesterday. Nothing happened. So I'm good. Now, the scripture said, do to that. Go ahead. For the Lord Yahweh is long suffering. He will not. He, he will he will in no wise let these these go. Yes, yeah, so the, the scripture said the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let me go. He not gonna let you go. So don't don't even think that the Most High actually gonna let you go. All right. Well, concerning propitiation, propitiation be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Yeah. So don't be without fear to add sin unto sin. Don't do that. Gotta be fearful. All right. Go ahead. Verse six, and say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified. Pacified for the multitude of of my sins. Yes. Yeah, so basically. You know, the sin that the Lord will pacify for your sins is like saying, I, you know, I was sin and I was just going to ask him for forgiveness and we're going to be cool after that. All right? Remember, let's go and make an offering from a sin and the Lord will be cool after that. You know? So, you know, you're in the act and say, I, you know what? I will do it, but when I've done, I'm going to ask the Lord for forgiveness. Nah, it don't work that way. Because the scripture said, Tempt not the Lord, you have a shy. And you tempt to the Lord by saying, I, I will sin, but then when I've done sin, I will make a sacrifice for my sin. You will surely most I will forgive you. So that is why you had a fear. You understand? That is why you had a fear. So don't say the most I many most I good. So after I've done it, I will just pray and everything will be good. You have to be afraid and the terror of the most I. Go ahead. For mercy and wrath come from him. Yeah, mercy and wrath come from him. So remember that. So the most I can give you mercy, whereas he can give you wrath. We don't know which one the Lord can give. We don't know if we're part of the elect. We're hoping. So that therefore, you're going to do your best to make sure that you're part of the elect. You're going to try your best. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Don't just fuck up, fuck up and be cool with it. You're going to be very afraid when you do. Because you don't know what the counsel that the Most High took concerning you. All right? That is it? Yeah. Go ahead. And his indignation um, rises upon the sinners. Make make no tarry to turn to the Lord, and put and put on and put not off and put not off from the day to day. Yeah. So don't put off from day to day. So don't say I, I you know, sin today and I right, cool. Tomorrow nothing happen, and next week nothing happen. I right, good. And then they go in and boom, the most I take your ass up because you was being wicked in your heart. Alright? You was being wicked. So you have to be afraid. First of all, try your best not to sin. And if you do stumble, then guess what? Make sure you do your best to beg the most I for forgiveness and hope that he forgive you. Alright? And not just because you beg for forgiveness and you're still alive, mean the most I forgive you. So that don't mean if you just go and commit our next sin. Because you're not sure if the most I forgive you. You're not sure if the most I in impute sit that sin onto you and holding that, that, that charge against you. You still ain't sure. So then therefore you're gonna keep begging the most I to, to really cleanse your sin because you never know what the Lord destined for you. Right. So you're gonna beg him for that forgiveness and keep begging him until he take you out of this, this wicked kingdom and this wicked flesh. All right, that is it? Yeah, nothing it was them. For suddenly, for suddenly shall the wrath of, of the Lord Yahweh come for, come forth, and in the and in the security thou shall be destroyed. Yeah, in security, that is security. You feel everything good, that is when the most I gonna take you out. Alright? So if I do say commit an act, 
The most I forgive you, I beg you for forgiveness, you forgive you, go back and do the same thing, you forgive you, go back and do it a third time, you forgive you. And then you're gonna have to get comfortable with this tonight and keep doing it time. You know, the Lord, I'm still here, so the Lord forgive me. And then when you day, you even take in all the sin that you did, wham, the most I take you out, and then you, you blink and you wake up in the spirit realm, and the most I like, anyway. See them thing where you do that, you want to take you out. So then, therefore, you have to be afraid. You have to be afraid, be very afraid. Be afraid to commit sin. Try your best. The scripture say flee from sin as one flee from the face of a serpent. Yeah. Try your best not to go. Because we ain't making the most I will forgive us. But the most I is long suffering and wish that all will come to repentance. So the therefore, if you sin because you will sin in this flesh. Alright? But the, hey, guess what? Adulteries, idolatry, murder. Things like that, most I don't play. So tread carefully. It's the last scripture here. This is Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8. It says, But beloved. Um, it says, But beloved, it says, be not ignorant of this one thing. That the day that one day is with Yahweh as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So one day to the most size a thousand years to us. So you might sin now and 20 years down the road, the most size might actually jack you up for that sin. But you might say, Lord, so long. But really in the Lord time, that is like you, you just sin. You sin right before his eyes. So you sin now and two seconds after the most size take your ass out. But in your time is 20 years. So don't feel you actually have time because your time and the most high time different. So then therefore you're constantly begging the most high for his mercies. So verse 9, it says, Yahweh is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, so the most high is slack. So you might think the most high is slack because nothing happened to you yet. The reason I say yet because the Lord ain't going to let you go. Alright? It says, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua is not slack concerning his promise. As some men come slackness, but is long suffering to us what? So the most I dealing with us different than he dealing with the two thirds. He long suffering towards us. Alright? Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And that is the reason why the Lord long suffering. So that they could come to repentance. So he could beg him to forgive him for the sins that he committed. So it's not a, a benefit unto the Lord that you righteous, you're supposed to be righteous. Alright? The Lord said choose life. And we all want to make it out this kingdom. And if you keep sinning and keep doing your wicked ways, then guess what? You don't believe that it's have a life after this. You believe that days it, so just do whatever you feel like. Alright? But as Joshua said, me and my house, we will worship Yahweh. So then therefore, the men that are within, as I said, we're talking to if you want to be counted as part of the hope you left, hey, try your best to say, be sincere, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And if you stumble, beg the Mosai earnestly for his, for his mercies. Don't think that the Mosai just let you go. Scripture saying you will no wise let you go. All right, you have something? All right, hey, so with that, I want to give all praises to your Hawa, Basham, Yahweh, Shai. Give double honors to the apostles of great mercy to not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hope and say, say, let. Say shallow one, stay strong. Shallow one.